Okay, thank you very much. Um, excellencies, honorable ministers, honorable members of parliament, all protocol observed, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, my statement is going to be very brief. Most importantly, I was so much taken up by the presentation by the young man from Kenya, and I think that's going to be our the biggest ambassador for the globe. I think we need to applaud that young man. I started my environment activism when I was in my primary seven, and I won an essay in Uganda, and that's how I became a champion, and I consider myself a champion. And it starts when you're still young. So whatever we are doing today, I think we, know, we don't need to look at uh, anywhere else. Let us also try to promote the young people, especially the children, to be active so that when we are talking about the future, we are talking about the young generation of today. Uh, my name is Jacqueline Namongin, a member of parliament from Uganda and representative of Uganda in the regional assembly. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the organizers of this uh, CCDA and also all the other events that have preceded this uh, CCDA. They have been very informative and I think it's a learning process for all of us to put into action what we have discussed in this place. The Africa Climate Summit stands as a, a testament to our collective resolve as a continent to take proactive measures in the face of an ever accelerating climate emergency. CCDA and the summit serves as a platform for all stakeholders from across our diverse nations to come together to share insights and to forge a path forward that ensures a sustainable and resilient future we all aspire for. In a special way, being a, a parliamentarian, I would like to thank the, the, the organizers for engaging parliaments because I speak as a representative of the people. Uh, and I would like to make a call to all the organizers of most of the upcoming events, including the UNFCC. In, in order for this, all these multilateral instruments and all the resolutions that we come up with, like the smart resolutions that have been read here, to be domesticated, we have to bring a strong legislative arm and the role of parliament. Because at the end of it all, it's about translating legislations into action. I'm very honored to be talking in the presence of the ministers who are here, because at the end of the day, when the ministers present policy statements to parliaments, it's members of parliament who do the appropriations, budgeting, and allocation of resources. And I think climate change should be mainstreamed in all our modest parenda, our day-to-day -day legislative processes. Therefore, speaking on behalf of parliamentarians in this CCDA today, I'm very much honored and I believe that the voices of the very many people must all be inclusive, the children, the youth, the women. But most important, in my law school, they told me that uh, it's parliament that can turn everything, apart from turning man into a woman. But parliament can do everything. So let us work with our minimal resources. Throughout our discussions here, we've been talking about resources, uh, Africa emits 4% or less. All those uh, theories, we must act now. Because we face the highest, when it comes to drought, we, we are the highest level. We face it highly than any other place. When it comes to hurricanes, when it comes to uh, floods, it's us. So even when we gather here, let us look into us. What action are we taking? When I was growing up, people would, would not cut trees, but today, Everyone just goes and cuts trees and no one else is planting a tree. So my challenge to all of us who are seated here, after as we end this CCD and we're heading to the Africa Climate Summit, what action are we taking, each and all of us? Leave alone the smart paperwork. I'm a politician. We will transform this paperwork into actions when it comes to policy and legislation. But what action is each of us taking, wherever you are, in your family, in your community, in your school, in your workplace. Do you even, are you ever even planting a mere tree 
Some of us have never planted even a single tree, and we celebrate birthdays every year. Let us restore our degraded land, because Africa today, out of 132% of our cropland is degraded, and we are talking about climate action. The action starts with all of us. And to me, it has been an opportune moment. First of all, we had a dialogue of parliamentarians whereby we've come up with resolutions that will be presented at the Africa Climate Summit. And we hope that most of the resolutions that we've come up with, including doubling financing on adaptation and resilience, adapting to the new technologies, because we're talking about a just transition. A just transition cannot be achieved in Africa without talking about adaptation, because majority of our people are employed in in the agricultural sector, for example, as the, as the women, 70% of women Afri in Africa are employed in the agricultural sector. And they, if we talk about a just transition, adaptation and being, uh, being able to adapt to climate shocks should be an area that we are looking forward to. So with those few remarks, I would like to thank everyone who has participated, but calling upon all of us to take action to involve everyone, and together we can make this nation great in the champion, in this, this continent great in championing climate action. I thank you for your kind listening.